Hello, I'm Anna. And I'm Pete. Welcome to He Said, She Said. Because there are always two sides to every story. Today's show is about circus arts. Circus? That's not an art form. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Oh, dear. Anna and Pete do not agree about circus arts, but that's okay. We all have different opinions. Today's lesson is about agreeing and disagreeing. Let's listen to how Anna and Pete disagree or agree. Let's hope these two can agree on something. Today, let's run away with the circus. Recently, I went to a circus festival. There was a huge circus tent and many different circus performers. It was a celebration of circus arts. That looks fun, Anna, but I don't think circus performers are artists. I think they're athletes with interesting skills and costumes. Hmm. That is a very interesting point of view, Pete, and I completely disagree. Anna, Michelangelo was an artist. Rembrandt was an artist. People who swing from ropes are not artists. I know it's not easy to swing from a bar and catch someone by the hand. You have to be very athletic to do that. That's a good point, Pete. They are athletic but they are called trapeze artists. Trapeze artists. I hear what you're saying, Anna, I do, but where is the art? Look at these guys. They're jugglers. Yes, they are skilled in the art of juggling. They have a special skill, but are they artists? No. Yes. They're just throwing things back and forth. Kind of like you and me, Pete. We're going back and forth on this issue. I don't think we'll ever agree on this one. No, but we can agree that these young people are amazing. Okay, yeah, we can agree on that. But still, they are very athletic, flipping and throwing each other around. Yes, I agree with you on that point. They did it. They agreed. Anna says she agrees that the performers are athletic. That's a good point, Pete. They are athletic. I agree with you on that point. Now look for other ways they agree. Anna? Anna! Sorry, sorry. But he's an artist, too. He's telling a story with his sticks and his costume. What story? And what costume? I see your point, Pete. I, I really do. But circus performers do more than physical tricks. Look, look at these amazing performers. I will admit, I like their costumes. You know, Pete, let's let the performers speak for themselves. Kate and Piper tell stories while hanging upside down on a ring. Was it hard to interview them upside down? I interviewed them right side up, Pete. Kate says circus performing may be athletic, but it's not competitive. With most sports, you compete. It's an art form because like other sports are competing. This is simply performing and having fun. Okay, Kate made a really good point. In athletics, there's a lot of competition. But still. Here's Piper, Pete. Please pay attention, Pete. But I'm... <laughs> well, when you're up in the air doing circus, you have to perform. And so we learn to embody characters and to move fluidly and gracefully in artistic ways. And that is why they are artists. You're right, Anna. Oh, you're right. It's just so beautiful. I know. <laughs> I know, Pete. Good job, you two. I'm so glad that Anna and Pete finally agree. Pete said, You're right, Anna. 
I agree too. Circus arts are beautiful. Remember the website.